Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now I am going to copy the floors. Then we will apply loads. So let's start. I will select the element of ground floor. Then I will deselect the joints so that we can copy easily. Okay. Not this one. Go to edit. Special selection here. The windows will, window will come like this. Select this one, select all, then remove from current, current, current selection. Okay, now we will go to move or copy. We will along z direction, we will copy it 11 feet because this column height is 11 feet and number of copies will be 1 ok done so we have copied our floor now if we want to reduce the floor height we will select all the nodes here and go to move we'll make it 0 number of copy so that it can move down minus one feet okay then okay now the second floor height second or sorry first floor height now it is 10 feet if we want to reduce the landing height also we can select like this then you can go to move or copy we we'll do it 5.5 that means 6 inch okay done now this 10 feet story we will replicate up to 4 floors or 3 floors total we will design for 1 2 5 floor so 1 and 2 is present now so additional we will copy 3 select all this element then go to select a special and remove the nodes ok now move or copy number of copy 1 then 10 feet positive 10 and number of copy we will do it 3 ok so this is done now we will copy 4 columns only to create stair head these 4 columns this is divided for the landing beam we will copy over copy uh, this is 10 feet so go for 10 feet number one okay now if we want to remove the division you can select the node and right click delete node mars joint lines now it is single member here also click on the node if we view lines then it will be easy to see then right click delete node mars joint member so this is our stair head beams uh, columns this height is 10 feet so we will reduce it move it we will make it 7.5 feet so 2.5 2.5 feet will go down and copies will be 0 so that it will be moved so this is moved now we will draw the surface 6 in C and 3000 psi ok from here to here 
so our modeling is completed so this is our model if the surface you want to see with thickness you can do it this is data go to display then here you can see the member in different colors according to cross section this is the cross section member type like this and model surface fill to including thickness click on this then you can see the slab thickness also so we have finished our model in the next tutorial i will show how to apply loads on this rcc building so till then stay tuned and thanks for watching press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update